Hello everyone, now I'm in China's largest oil production base, Daqing Oil Field, which was discovered in 1959. After over 60 years development, it has produced 2.4 billion tons of crude oil. What a huge number! Behind me, you can see its pumping unit. In my opinion, it looks just like a huge chicken, which is packing rice 24 hours a day. Pumping unit is a symbol of oil field. It produces not only oil, but also wastewater. How do Dutch oil fields deal with wastewater? Today, let's find the answer together. Let's go! Here we are, this is one of the stations dealing with wastewater in Dutch oil field. Let's go in. Hello. Okay. During the epidemic period, people who enter this station are asked to take their body temperature, temperature readings, and I also need to register my information here. I also need to wear the uniforms and the helmet. I have also been asked to switch off my mobile phone to ensure security. She is introducing the things we need to know to ensure our security. Let's get in. In the very beginning of Dutch oil field, the proportion of water in produced fluid is not so high. Green and ground water can stabilize the loss of oil. Nowadays, more than 90% in produced fluid is wastewater. Dutch oil field produces about 400 million tons of wastewater every year. The wastewater contains a lot of toxic substances. There will be a huge damage to the environment if it is discharged directly. Those huge tanks are used to filter wastewater. Every day, they can deal with 16,000 cubic meters with the water. This is with the water tank. Each tank can store 2,000 cubic meters with the water. There are two tanks here. There are many pumps in this station. They pump with the water into different tanks to filter. Reverse osmosis filtration and purification also be used in the tanks. After treatment, the oil content and impurities in waste water are reduced to 20 mg per liter. Pebbles cross-cross the ground. They are thousands of, they are thousands of kilometers long. This allows the treated waste water to be transported in a sealed manner. Now we are in the control room. Here is five kilometers far away from the station we have just visited. Nowadays, Dutch oil field is building smart oil field. The data of temperature, pressure, flow rate can be transferred digitally. Workers can control six different kinds of pumps remotely, which can reduce the risks and ensure the security of workers. Now we are going to another place to see how the water can be re-injected into ground. This is a water injection equipment. After so many steps, standard water can be re-injected into the ground. There are those kinds of equipment so that the pressure on the ground can be rebalanced. There are thousands of such equipment in Dutch oil field. 
And this is the way have Dutch oil field realize sustainable development.